Jangan. Lagi cut. Dekat rumah gazi. Dekat rumah gazi. Yoka. With a total of 460 trainees who are drawn from mountain division units and the Special Forces Command, specifically 206 Brigade. <laughs> facilitate the maneuvering in the mountain operations, mountainous operations. So the module consists of the technical part of it uh, in terms of maneuvering the mountain environment. We have seen some female soldiers also being trained and uh, when one understands that this is a mountain warfare, how do they cope up? And uh, how many do, do you have uh, so far that you are trained? Actually, there are not so many. <coughs> but amazingly, those ones who have gone through the training have done it to the best. Uh, I think you have seen the, the, the demonstration. The girls are very good. It's all about determination. They are determined and we are happy with them. We encourage those ones who can come up, the, the mountain is um, one of the best, I should say, one of the best environment to operate. And girls are cool. It's not all about uh, physique or muscles, but the mental preparedness. very interesting and we are happy because all the troops which have gone to who are engaged in the, mount, the operation uh, soldier in Congo have gone through this training school. We are proud to say that we have trained them and the results we are getting are very encouraging. The boys are doing a very wonderful job there. Okay. The standards of mountain warfare. Surely the challenges are still there. It's still a baby. We are building capacity. Uh, and you know, the, 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 the equipment we are using are damn expensive and they, they are imported. So the budget does not allow us to have everything, but we improvise. And uh, what we have improvised actually has produced some good results. We are grateful to the UPDF <coughs> leadership because at least the basics we have, we have got uh, what we need to keep on moving and we expect more with time. We take 13, 21, Top 22 of the mountain warfare taken Kokos.
11 ladies who are present today. So today I'm pleased to present you, sir, 420 trainees who have gone through training for the last three or so months. The course is meant to equip soldiers with the necessary techniques and tactics employed in the high altitude operations. We have already seen a demonstration in the mountain. This clearly brings out what we are talking about, high altitude. The environment of the mountain is totally different from what we know, we know as the infantry forces. We try to develop the physical capability of these soldiers to the level required for them to operate in this kind of environment. We prepare the mountain, mountain techniques. We take them through tactics, communication, skill at arms, as you have already seen the demonstration, sir. Political education, which is very paramount for the existence of UPDF. We do ma map using in the mountains, field craft, first aid or public health. We emphasize physical training because it's very paramount in the mountains. Military law because we want upright soldiers. And so to sum up the package, we do invite guest lecturers that put the icing on the cake. We also try to acclimatize these troops to such conditions prevalent in mountainous regions so that they can meet the challenges and pressure associated with these operations. And lastly, we introduce and teach soldiers how to use the new equipment applicable in such operations, as you have already seen in the demonstration. Well, my last and final word to my trainees. One, I congratulate them upon uh, the completion of the course. Because it's not easy operating in this mountainous uh, environment. I urge them to keep on training because this is just the basic we give them. And secondly, they need to keep physically fit and medically fit. Because the environment they are going to operate in is not an easy one. It needs one somebody who is mentally, physically, and medically fit to, to fit in the situation. 